There's quite the hype for Aptera Motors 3-wheel solar EV, which will likely go into production in 2023. The company showed the progress it made on its solar-powered car by revealing the production intent design. For the first time, Aptera has showcased the union of its continuous improvements throughout its alpha, beta, and gamma development phases on a production intent prototype called Delta. Today, we take a look at the fully solar-powered Aptera electric car and see whether it's finally going to hit the roads this year. Stay tuned! Aptera's three-wheeler has been in development for a long time, more than a decade to be precise. Initially, it was meant to be a hybrid car in the 2010s. However, these plans were scrapped after funding fell through and it resurfaced as a battery-powered EV. The new design involved the car being covered in solar cells, which means it was fully solar-powered. This is truly an ingenious design, as no car is fully powered by solar energy. The car was to be marketed as a never-charged electric vehicle. Aptera claimed that if parked outside in direct sunlight, it would gain up to 40 miles in range per day. Aptera embarked on a four-step production plan. First, it created an alpha prototype to test the concept and determine whether there were any severe design flaws. Several issues needed to be worked out in the alpha stage, one of them accommodating taller occupants. The following step was beta, which mainly focused on suspension design. The final step was the gamma stage, where other aspects needed to be improved. Now that Aptera has completed these three stages, it has finally released renderings for the delta stage. The delta stage can be a game changer for Aptera since this is the production-ready design. A few changes may be made between now and production, but they will likely be minor ones. Since the beginning of the process, Aptera has collaborated with well-known manufacturing consultants, Monroe and Associates, on production optimization. A trailer video for a webinar by Aptera on January 20th was released on its official YouTube channel. However, not much information was provided. However, it does show the chassis components all coming together. While Aptera is generating a lot of praise for its innovative technology, several skeptics question the solar EV's crash-worthiness. It's unclear, however, that Aptera is no eggshell. It has a lot of interlocking components that should provide some severe rigidity as well as rollover protection. It also appears to have a subframe assembly that houses a battery pack and connects the front and rear suspensions. This should not only strengthen the body, but also reduce play between the front and rear suspensions. The LF hub motors are then mounted to the suspension, and the rest of the body panels are assembled. A large belly pan under the vehicle is where the battery cooling is supposed to be. The back deck is much thinner than the first Alpha model, and there's more interior space to accommodate taller people. To avoid aerodynamic drag, the suspension has been tightened up to three low-resistance channels, and the fenders and rear fairing appear to be tuned up. The Delta interior design seems very Tesla-like, with a minimalist approach, a center display, and yoke. However, there are some significant differences between Aptera's and Tesla's approaches. The display above the yoke replaces mirrors, and the yoke itself is more oval in shape, signifying a broader usage than Tesla's yoke steering. The shape of the seats also gives the Aptera a distinct appearance. In the video, we also get a glimpse of the solar panels on the top. The panels are crammed to add as many solar panels as possible. Some even make their way onto the dash. Aptera seems to be delivering on the promise of a car that will not require charging. The cells furthermore appear to be well integrated into the panels, demonstrating how much Aptera has progressed in its fully solar EV design. Aside from the visual hints, Aptera also revealed details about the launch. To begin with, the launch edition vehicles will all be of the same configuration, allowing the company to get production up and running more quickly. Other configurations will become available later, probably after the launch. This enables production lines to adapt and expand from the initial configuration. January 20th is supposedly the launch date and we'll receive more information regarding the Solar EV and Aptera strategy to get the car into production on this day. 2023 might finally be the year when Aptera finally launches its first fully solar-powered electric car in the market. It remains to be seen whether Aptera will have a flawless ride to launch or will it again be faced with constraints. But what are your thoughts on Aptera's new solar car? Let us know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching.